Hey, sweet friends, this is Gina. Welcome to the Rebookery channel. Today, I'm going to show you a new and exciting project that I want you guys to come along with me on this journey. I'm going to open up an old journal that I have, and there was a page in here that I want to model in a new journal that I'm working in. And so I pulled out this page, and it was something I had done a long time ago, just the background. I want to try to recreate it on that maroon um, index that goes, uh, it's actually going to go into a binder. So I'm flipping through some old ledger paper, really old ledger paper, and I'm going to pull out a couple of sheets because I'm going to actually use the ledger paper to cover up the uh, maroon index. And paper like this, I don't use um, like in my journals as journal paper because it's just too old and fragile, but it will do just fine if I glue it onto something a little more sturdier and a little more newer. So I'm going to go ahead and just use a glue stick and put it down. And I'm going to do both sides. I'm going to actually go and get a piece of graph paper and put it on the other side. And that'll kind of replicate that um, muted background that's in my original journal spread. And so I'm going to take it over to my sewing machine here in just a hot second. And I'm going to stitch it down. This is actually going to be a title page. And so I am going to document this summer... Um, with a journal designated just to this summer. Now, this is something new for me. I don't typically do this. Uh, usually, I will just journal in whatever journal I have going on. And for the last, oh my gosh, two or three summers, it's been my little journal. Um, I'll link some links below. So if you're not familiar with my little journal, you can uh, take a peek at it. But my little journal is just way too full right now. And it's so cumbersome to pick up and work in that I think it's I think it's days are numbered so I want to document things that I'm going to do this summer um, with such a long winter and with so many snow days and two whole weeks added to the end of our school year I feel like my summer is kind of um, it's going to kind of be I don't know a little short so I want to make the most of every single day and so I thought just making a journal and titling it Days of Summer um, would be the best way for me to cherish each and every one of these minutes that I'm going to have this summer. So on this paper, I'm just replicating some doodles that I had done on the original uh, journal spread. And they were just um, small X's. And um, I think I even go and I put, um, I for whatever reason, I am hooked on making these little bow ties. I I don't have a lot of um, shapes in my repertoire of, uh, of drawing skills, but these little bow ties that I'm drawing, for whatever reason, I can, I can draw them really well, especially if I don't think about them, um, and I just love adding them to pages. So I'm just putting some X's and some of these little bow ties, and then there was some of these really um, cute uh, sticks with circles on top of them that kind of look like flowers, and I'm going to add those to the bottom also. So once I get those doodles on, I feel like it's pretty close to what the original journal spread was. And I go ahead and I start adding the title and stuff that I want to put um, on this journal. So here's, here's how this is going to go down. I am not going to put any rules on this. Um, it can be whatever you want it to be. It does not have to be a binder. It can be a journal that you've bought at a store. It can be a handmade journal. It can be a junk journal. It can be an art journal. It can be um, a diary. It can be a notebook. It can be a spiral notebook. It can be whatever you want it to be. But I'm going to just have this be wherever I um, put anything that I do that I feel is worth documenting this summer. And so I'm going to start with a title page, and that's what I'm working on right now. And then after that, if I do something exciting, I will enter it into my Days of Summer journal. If I don't do something exciting, I won't enter it into the Days of Summer journal. It's not that big of a deal. Um, typically, I don't do a lot of exciting stuff during the summer because... It's just kind of my chill time, and that's what I like to do is chill. But this summer, we are going to actually take a trip. So I know there's going to be some pages um, dedicated in this journal to a trip 
but uh, on a normal summer, I probably wouldn't just make a separate journal for summer just because I know I just don't do a whole lot of stuff. But this summer, I'm going to go ahead and do it. So I'm just going to title this Days of Summer, and I want to show you a really important lesson right here. See, as I'm writing Days of Summer and I make a big mistake, what had happened was glue had gotten onto the paper. And when I went to write over the glue, it wouldn't write. And I had to get the glue off of my pen or it would ruin my pen. So I wrote over on the scrap paper uh, to try to get the glue off. But now I've got this big yucky mess. This actually is awesome. Because now that's an opportunity for me to make this, um, to make this my own. And I take a little piece of scrap paper, some of that graph paper, I tear a little bit of it, I glue it down, and I go ahead and write my, my letters right over top of it. Super messy, super fun. It looks like it was intended to be there. And then what I do next is because I am not the best at uh, handwriting, I've, I've worked really hard on my handwriting over the years, but um, I like to embrace the messiness, the sloppiness. So I'm just going to go over what I have already done very loosely and make a lot of lines that will um, kind of be outside of what I had already written. And then those little empty spaces, I'm going to go back through with a marker or a colored pencil or a crayon, whatever it is you want. And I'm going to actually color in those open spaces. And it just kind of adds a little bit of interest to the uh, title and it just kind of makes, makes it pop just a little bit more. So I want something to go on this um, front page, something that represents summer. So in this journal that I'm going to use, this Days of Summer, I have uh, limited myself to just very few supplies. Now I'm going to go into the whole journal thing um, in the next video right now I'm just kind of showing you the title page but um, I'll show you all the things that I've decided I'm going to use in this journal but but one of the big things is I'm going to use dictionary pages and so I have some dictionary pages that have fallen out of books and those are going to be what I'm going to use um, in this journal. Those and some book pages. Um, I'm also going to use some maps and some postcards. So those things are going to be like in a separate little bag next to this journal. And whenever I pull this journal out, I'm going to use um, those materials. I'm going to also keep it to like uh, pencils, pens, um, a few markers, some fabric scraps, uh, maybe a couple of rolls of washi, and then um, other than that, pretty much just basic, basic supplies. So I'll, I'll like I said, I'll go through a whole um, video and show you how I'm setting this up because I've already got some pages put together. But um, I'm kind of excited because I think this is going to be a fun way to document summer and cherish every single moment um, and then also get some creativity out and and uh, just enjoy just enjoy the ride enjoyed the next uh, couple of months so I'm almost done with this page here I'm going to stamp the date now I'm going to keep myself to that one little set of stamps that's the only set of stamps I'm going to use it's the original set of stamps I bought uh, 16 years ago when I first started scrapbooking my dog is actually chewed some of the stamps so I've had to um, try to piece them back together but they are my absolute favorite stamps I think I got them at Walmart for like three dollars and so I'm going to use those stamps um, and I'm just going to use basic supplies I'll probably use crayons I'll probably use um, colored pencils um, and things like that so anyway I just wanted to kind of give you a preview wanted to show you what my um, title page is going to look like and look for more videos coming in this series. Look for videos to show you how I've set up my journal. And uh, yeah, I hope you are doing well. I hope you are healthy. I hope you are happy. And I hope you do something beautiful and creative today. Guys, have a great rest of the day. Bye.